hello everyone i will be demonstrating experiment 6 control of a dc motor the main objective of this experiment is to run and control dc motor using microcontroller you have already used atmega 32 in previous experiments but you probably didn't use dc motor in those experiments so in this experiment we will try to control a dc motor with atmega 32 so obviously we need the atmega 32 and then we need dc motor and to control this dc motor or to drive this motor we need motor driver basically for two reasons one is the voltage requirement because motor uh, generally runs at a greater voltage than the microcontroller and also the current requirement because motor take mass current as compared to our atmega 3 to microcontroller so for these two reasons basically we need motor driver also there are other reasons as well but these are two main reasons that's why if you connect your dc motor directly with atmega 3 to with any gpio pin then uh, your atmega 3 to might be damaged because of high current actually so we need uh, motor driver and there are different types of motor driver available in market L298AN is one of them uh, which uh, is probably uh, which you will probably use uh, in Brack University uh, in a practical lab but in case of Proteus uh, I noticed that L293D is more reasonable because L298AN is not directly available but L298 is available uh, but uh, L293D in Proteus that is more reasonable to use so we will use this but before that let's focus on L298 on in motor driver so this is the motor driver because this is a motor driver obviously we need to connect motor with it so to connect this uh, we have this out A and out B pin uh, with this two pin we will connect DC motor because you know in a DC motor uh, we have two terminal to provide the supply let's say this is one terminal and this is another terminal so to connect these two terminal we have two terminal out A and out B and this L298N can connect two motor at a time so uh, out A and out B for motor A or first motor and out C and out D here and here these are for a second motor if you need any and this portion is the voltage requirement that means uh, through this you will supply the required voltage for motor operation that is VCC uh, in this VCC we will supply the required voltage and ground you need to connect this ground with your atmega 3 2's ground as well so all grounds in your schematic should be connected in a single ground and then this is plus 5 that means uh, it is actually a plus 5 plus 5 volt output pin so if you connect any uh, jumper wire with it then you will get a positive 5 volt from this and this is actually the main IC uh, we are observing L2898 l298 in motor driver so this is basically based on l298 ic so ic is basically situated it here and other components that are required to operate this ic they are like uh, you know here and uh, in other portions as well so i am just demonstrating the pins that we generally need and then uh, okay in this region first let me clear all let's move on so if you notice closely here in a in b in c in d these are four pins we call them a logical input pin through which we will provide our desired uh, logical signals to operate the motors uh, as it written here if you notice 
in A and in B provides the control signal for the first motor and similarly in C and in D it provides the control signal for the second motor. So when we will connect this L2980 and motor driver with Atmega 32 then we basically connect these pins with uh, you know different ports to send control signals to control these motors. and. Uh, F of this there are enable pins if you notice this is E N A that means this is the enable pin for motor A so if you provide the logical high value or let's say 5 voltage to this pin then uh, this out A and out B will be activated that means motor uh, first motor will be activated and similarly if you provide this uh, 5 volt to this enable B pin then second motor will be activated and here uh, these are actually connected to 5 volt so this is a 5 volt and this is another 5 volt and if you notice closely they are connected like this so uh, there is a metal portion so they are connected that means by default uh, motor uh, a terminal that is out a and out b and also motor b terminal uh, that means second motor terminal out c and out d they are all activated but if you want to deactivate them you just uh, disconnect this portion and also you can control this connecting and disconnecting using microcontrollers as well and in this experiment uh, we will be connecting this enable a pin to uh, with uh, input pin so that we can control this. So these are all written here uh, and in the uh, Proteus environment we will basically use L293D which is very similar to this pin out so don't worry. And this is the main circuit for our uh, experiment so obviously we need a DC motor to be connected with out A and out B of L298N and L298N has 3 pins for motor A for uh, controlling one is INA and INB we will connect this with A1 and A2 and A0 we will use at enabling for motor A and also the VCC ground uh, will provide power supply with these terminals. So these three pins uh, we are basically using this as output pins because uh, you can understand that we will be sending some voltage in these directions. That's why uh, we need to configure these three pins at output pins and also we will be using interrupt facilities here that's why this D2 and D3 are used and this uh, portion is very similar to your previous experiment where you have used multiple interrupts. So D2 by using this D2 and D3 uh, some two push buttons are connected which is SW1 and SW2 and by controlling these two push buttons uh, you will control the motor operations and that's all are written here. Uh, so we will be using interrupt 0 and interrupt on and uh, we want that our motor works as follows. If switch on is pressed that means if you provide interrupt 0 then the motor will rotate in on direction let's say clockwise or anti-clockwise direction but if switch 2 is pressed that means if you provide another interrupt then it will rotate in the opposite direction so previously if rotate uh, anti-clockwise then if you press switch 2 then it should rotate at clockwise so that's all you want in this experiment so you need to make the necessary connections and obviously uh, we are writing code in code vision AVR and also we will be using Atmega 32 uh, with 16 megahertz frequency and obviously we are using these three pins A0, A1 and A2 as the output pin so we need to define it and then integer uh, sorry uh, then interrupt 0 and interrupt 1 uh, we will be using at interrupt facilities and you know there are different modes and we will be using falling is uh, you can also try with other modes for example rising or low so uh, then this code so if i demonstrate first two lines you are very familiar with it because you already performed couple of experiment with this so first these are two header files one is mega 32.as and the second one is the delay to use this delay millisecond function and we are using two interrupt function that's why uh, these are two interrupt service routines first one for interrupt zero 
and the second one for interrupt on and I already mentioned that uh, you want to operate the motor in on direction with uh, on interrupt and uh, another direction with a different interrupt so let's say this is the first interrupt so you want to perform motor running in on direction so first of all uh, we are using port A so this is port A initialization port A 0x00 that means you are uh, initializing, initializing with 0 values and then you are giving 500 millisecond delay then this portion uh, as you probably seen A0 is enable and A1 is INA A2 is INB so uh, first of all you provide a0 equal to 1 that means you just enable the motor output so the motor is now enabled now if you provide uh, proper supply in INA and INB the motor will rotate so now you are supplying uh, 0 to A1 and 1 to A2 that means uh, you provide low value at INA this is INA and A and similarly uh, you are providing a high value to I and B the other terminal so if you provide a low and high combination then obviously the motor will uh, rotate in one direction then if you change this combination let's say you provide A is in I and A sorry this should be B uh, the second on this should be actually B I and B. So if you provide uh, low and high uh, in I and A and I and B respectively then motor will rotate let's say in the clockwise direction and if you change the, this value as high and low then obviously the motor will rotate in different direction. That's why in second service routine uh, here you provide 1 and then 0. So here you provided 0 and 1 that means uh, let's say low and high. Uh, respectively to INA and INB but in this second service routine you provide 1 and 0 that means high and low so obviously you are providing opposite signals that's why motor will rotate in opposite direction and for the time being if I want to mention let's say if you provide both lo low value uh, to both this INA and INB then your motor won't operate and that means your motor won't rotate and similarly if you provide both high value at both end uh, your motor won't operate as well so obviously you have two options either low and high or high and low so if you provide low and high the direction will be let's say anti-clockwise in it is sec and if you provide high and low then uh, the direction will be opposite to previous direction and obviously for these two combination your motor won't operate and then the void main function that is our main function where first we initialized uh, before initializing we mentioned that we are using uh, our three pins as output pins so three pins are a0 a1 and a2 so if you write them so last three are one right a0 a1 and a2 are one and all others are zero so if you convert this to hexadecimal number then obviously this will be uh, 7 at last and previously it is 0 so you can write 0x07 zero zero here so by writing 0x07 zero zero you are just saying that you are using three that last three uh, digits last three pins lowest significant pins you are using them as output pins and then you initialized all are 0 and this portion for the interrupt you are very, very familiar with I guess so if I want to mention GICR register in this register you mentioned that you are using interrupt on and interrupt 0 and MCUCR in this register you are mentioning that you are using falling edge so on 0 so you are using falling edge for ICS on on and ICS on 0 that is interrupt on and similarly uh, you are using falling S in the first interrupt as well and MCO CSR since we are not using the third interrupt that was ISC2 uh, that was INT2 this one 
so since uh, we are not using this that's why this is uh, we can write it 0 and GIFR register so uh, we are mentioning on as the flag register and don't worry with this because when we will uh, generate code in code vision avr this will be automatically generated and this one is the you already know this is more like a licensing that you are saying that uh, acknowledge the interrupt that means accept the interrupt when you are uh, interrupt is provided so asm aci and this is a uh, blank while loop so your code will be you know stuck here because this is a infinite loop and you are not writing anything here so you are not breaking from this code so your program will be stuck here but uh, since you are using two interrupt pin one is interrupt zero and another is interrupt on and by using these two interrupt pin you will be uh, performing your motor operation so whenever you will give the motor control uh, reasonable motor operation will be done so all we are doing by using the interrupt signal so for doing this uh, we have used this uh, two interrupt service routine for two different interrupts and next uh, you know that after writing the code you need to build the project and this portion is actually for hardware uh, so when you practically perform this uh, then you may use uh, other extreme burner software and other things so uh, you don't need this in the simulation and you know that you need to uh, draw the schematic in uh, proteas and then you need to show the hex file there uh, don't worry i will demonstrate line by line so now the report portion so for report you need to connect another motor as for homework uh, and you may call it second motor to the motor driver uh, as you already know that we have other terminals for example out c and out d so you may connect another motor in this terminal just like this first motor connection and then you will be using this two interrupt as already used and the performance uh, as you as it is asked here uh, when interrupt 0 is given uh, i want you to do fast motor operate clockwise so you want to perform clockwise operation of fast motor whenever you provide interrupt 0 and if you provide interrupt on then you want to operate the second motor operates clockwise and uh, you need to submit the screenshots for these two scenarios and also you need to submit your source code that you have written in code vision avr to perform this homework task you need to submit the, this in report and there should be a discussion session where you should write what have you done in this experiment uh, is there any problem that you have faced uh, what was the probable solution that you have done and other steps as well and for this uh, second and third uh, points uh, I want to clarify another thing so let's say you provides interrupt on then you want that first motor stops and then second motor starts clockwise and similarly if you provide interrupt zero I want you to do that second motor stops and then first motor rotates clockwise so whenever on motor is rotating i want you to stop the other motors as well so these are all this lab sheet demonstration next i will describe the simulation so stay with me thank you